Welcome back to Weekend Movie Bros, where we're going to be reacting to Stranger Things. There is a long distance between me and Zachary. I'm sorry Hi. about that. I'm, of course, Jacob. Jacob's here. He is from... I'm Ray from Marcy Jones 18. And we're going to be watching Stranger Things Episode 1, Susie, Do You Copy? This might be Part 1. But I highly doubt since it's 50 minutes. I'm sure I can cut out enough of it that it won't matter. But we'll really have to wait and see, guys. Um, but without further... I'm excited. I'm excited too. You ready? Yeah. We have several videos talking about theories and things, so we're not going to really dwell on this. We're just going to hit play and get really, really this pumped. Is, this is where I wish we weren't recording though, because I can bring that blind down and open the blind up and we could, you know, have light coming in through, but not that much light. It's fine. We can see the TV. Yeah. That's all Three, that. Two, two, one. We got a little old tech. Oh, I love it. Ooh, spend that money. That's awesome. So I was right. His. I was correct on the theory. What? And I said they were going back to the upside down. I like the opening to Avengers a little bit. <laughs> I like an opening to a movie. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> Leave the door open three inches. Three inches. So old. I know. She has long hair. That's how you know. And also, there's, it's so weird seeing Will with them and he's not freaking out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Just give it time. Just <laughs> waiting for him to smile. Oh, that's awesome. This has to mean something. Yeah. <laughs> A barn? A barn? <gasps> A barn. A barn? The trailer, Jake. What is happening? Um, well, that lasted a good five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's upside down since it's a tingling. That was a lot. A lot that happened. Was a lot happened last week. <laughs> Well, they're together. Aww. Who tells their kid that? that? Why do I know all these references? <laughs> that part is, oh, I'm so excited. I try to wait, try to drown myself. <laughs> <laughs> we know what the moral of this story is. Love. That's the season, Zachary. Love. Love and love is gross. Which is interesting. Yeah, but since he's one of the parents would never approve. Since <laughs> She's a great addition. Yeah, I like her a lot. She fits in the group. Oh, that's such a great shot. Such a sad shot. I don't like what they're doing with Dustin. It's sad. Because she said no to Hopper. Oh. 
Tim last season. But it got his point across. He's getting the Russian cosmonauts. No, the above. It's a fucking intense demoret. Not the stairs. <laughs> Nothing but the stairs. So wow. that was episode one. Um, we, uh, do we have final thoughts? Um, before we start mall rats. Wow. Okay, we need more than just wow. It was a great start to the season. Um, we were, we, so we have character arcs established, not for everybody. Nancy and, um, Will's brother are working at the Hawkins Post. Jonathan. Which is where Jake Busey is, which is, which I'm kind of upset about. Kind of wish they would have used him more for the, like, laboratory stuff. But now, now we, we now know he's just going to be, like, a typical a No, 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 I don't think so. I think the Hopkins Post is a, uh, a front. You think something. it's a front? Yeah, so you think he's working for the lab still? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like the Mike and Eleven thing. I, okay, see, here's the thing with Mike and Eleven. I think, I think it's, I think it's real. Um, It's authentic, yes. And so I to commemorate them for being real. I think two people who really do care about each other who've been through it, Mike and Eleven have been through, would want to spend every lasting moment together doing whatever they can to be together and I, I condemn that to the point of where honestly on I don't really like how they're doing Mike's character personally he's a real jerk yeah he doesn't seem real nice um but also I think cop was being a little too much a little he said there was something wrong with his nana <laughs> I think both parties are in the wrong when it comes to that are in the wrong I think Eleven deserves to do what Eleven deserves to do and if they want to you spend know, moments she saved the entire humanity and if she wants to spend time with her boyfriend, I don't think people should st stop her being rude about it. And I think everybody's just kind of being a little, a little rude. jerky about it. However, that also resides with Dustin. Um, I feel bad for him. He gets home and it. But, but I also think there's going to be a really good redemption here. But I, but but I, but when when we react to what his mother said, it's been a month. Things change. He hasn't been there. He doesn't know what's been going on. By the way, in the description, they said Lucas and Max have been off and on, so I guess they're on currently? Well, see, okay, so Max is also another interesting character of how... I think she fits really well into she the, fits group. Great the group. Great with the group. But she is a little naggy, which is funny, but also it can be a really bad character trait. So I really hope it's just for a few episodes and yeah. things. Like that, but I do like them together, and I think honestly, their definition is off and on. Like, we don't really know where they're at, where they're submitted in their relationship. Um, Didn't Joyce and Hopper have a moment? In yes, two? and I still feel like they're gonna have more moments. I think that's where we're building to. I think Joyce still is not over, obviously, the death of Bob. Bob. That was really cool to see him. But I think, um, I think Hopper is the perfect cure to that medicine. Um, so let's talk about the, uh... The rats? Really weird elephant in the room. This whole 
Wheeler Dockrin story. Well, I, I, I don't stopped. really. Well, see, here's the thing for the Wheeler Dockrin story. I don't really know how much of that is actually in said reaction, as it's a lot of filler things. Um, yeah, I really don't like it. So, but with that being said, it's very interesting, but it is something they already developed. This is nothing new, and honestly, I really, really, really hate um, Wheeler's dad. So, personally, like, if she wants to go have sex with Billy, go have sex with Billy. That's my personal opinion on that one. Like, your husband's an asshole. Like, you should have probably divorced him earlier in your life. But do you also remember what I was saying, um, how I feel like this cast is overbloated? No. No, I, I have not felt that yet. I still feel like... There's enough time to develop everybody in the cast. Okay. I have to wait. We'll decide on that maybe like episode six. Whoever did the but... cinematography on this episode, shot Bravo. The shot of when the sun was coming over Cerebro and saw the kids standing there, it felt like an 80s shot. And I was freaking out at the beginning of the beginning of the episode when they were like go panning through Eleven's room and they were doing like all of the uh, like names or anything. It felt like the opening to an 80s movie. I really like the way they did it. And by the way, people know what turtles are. Either Mine way. Not have my review. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can follow us on our respective channels, which are going to be linked down below. But of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And always like, subscribe, and get that notification bell, which is now the top of this poster. I thought we were going to, you know, don't forget to comment down below and like, and, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We didn't have a flow. It's okay. Um, if you guys want to check out any other videos, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button here and on this channel. And continue to watch this uh, week because you're going to see episode two come out pretty soon. I hope, yeah, we'll get them out as fast as possible. Um, we're about to watch episode two, so we'll talk. We'll see you then.